Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Luke, and today I'm going to be talking about Champions. This movie is currently in theaters, starring Woody Harrelson, Caitlin Olsen, Matt Cook, uh, Cheech Marin, among many others. So here we have a former minor league baseball basketball coach, basketball, not baseball, basketball, uh, is ordered by the court to manage a team of players with intellectual disabilities. He soon realizes that despite his doubts together, this team can go further than they ever imagined. So here we have uh, basically a feel-good sports-related movie. Uh, you can see a lot of similarities to like something like the Mighty Ducks or even Hardball, uh, mostly in the core story. Essentially, we have a coach who is dealing with his own personal issues. And in this case, um, he is just kind of sidelined as a minor league basketball coach. His goal is, to, of course, to get to the NBA. And as he's trying to help coach a team, we see that he has a lot of anger related issues, then eventually goes drinking and crashes into a police car, which then gets him to court. <laughs> Basically, the judge is putting him in a position where he can go to prison or he can do community service. And the community service that he's given is to coach an intellectual, a team with intellectual disabilities. And these teammates are really the star of this movie because they get so much good screen time. Each of them gets their moments to shine. We get enough time with each of them to learn about their backstories, what their interests are, uh, where they fit among the team. And then we do get some additional teammates added later on in the movie. We really get more story around two, uh, a couple of particular teammates, and we'll go into that in a second. But a lot of this is around Woody Harrelson's character. And that's where I get some of the flaws in this. Um, we do get a pretty solid core story. It's something that we've seen before, like I mentioned. I mean, if you look at the Mighty Ducks, uh, even Hardball, but both of those are very similar in terms of like our main person, our main coach and what they're dealing with. Um, but we get a lot with Woody Harrelson. He is basically the main star of this movie and we're following his journey as he's trying to figure out how to work with his team, how to work with his own issues. But at the same time, he's trying to figure out his next step. His goal is to get to the NBA and coach uh, an NBA team, even though it seems like he doesn't really care what he does at some points. He just wants to get there, um, which I wish they would have dived into a little bit further because we do get moments where it's so self-centered around him and his goals are and he doesn't really care about the people around him though he does care but he still gets so hung up on himself and i wish that could have been fleshed out a little bit more especially because it seems like there wasn't any particular goal other than just getting to like the nba right um it didn't really seem like he wanted to coach any particular team he was just trying to pull as many strings as he could to get uh figure out what he was going to do once um his court ordered assignment was over, which was a 90 day window. And then once he gets into this team, he's trying to figure out what happens. You know, there was a coach previously. Um, we didn't really get any more backstory there. We just kind of know that there was a coach there one day and then the next day the coach was gone. So that definitely builds up that this team has trust issues with coach because it seems like they're going through coach after coach after coach and don't really have anyone that can lead them into some sort of championship game, which in here we're, we're playing against other teams and we're going into uh, the championship at the Special Olympics. And then once we meet the team, that's where we get so much comedy within this. Uh, a lot of moments that make me laugh and we get a lot of time spent uh, with one of the players, um, Johnny, um, who lives with his sister and his mom. And his sister, Alex, is played by Caitlin Olsen, which we get to meet early on in the film. And so we do get a lot of connection there, which kind of pulls uh, Woody Harrelson's character in more so with the team, specifically with the character of Johnny. Builds a lot of relationship there. And this is where we get a lot of those moments that pull at your heartstrings. Um, but another character is Darius. Darius is one that is very anti playing on this team. He wants to be a part of the team. He likes hanging out with his friends. But once 
the new coach arrives, he is, nope, I'm out of here. I don't want to play for this team. I don't want to play for you. And that's a repetitive trend that we see until we get to know the story around Darius and what happened to him. And then once Woody Harrelson can confront him about that, we see a lot of changes there. We also get another player, uh, Constantino, which is basically to fill in for Darius because Darius chose not to play on this team. They have an open spot. And so they bring in Constantino, uh, which I thought she was really great. She was such a fun character, but I feel like she did not get enough screen time, enough time to shine because the way they hyped up this character, I was expecting more of a basketball player, but we get more of a hype person. She's really there to kind of uh, work with the coaches and really hype up the team and kind of get them to like, hey, y'all are good, y'all are better than this. You can you can play. Listen to what they're saying. You can do this. And so it's great to see her as the hype person. We get a couple of moments on the court, but uh, that's kind of what I was expecting going in. Um, but we don't really get that, so that kind of took me aback a little. But overall, the story is pretty solid. It's pretty straightforward. I think the story itself is a little messy. And the only other nitpicky thing I have with this one is that the humor gets a little bit too mature, a little bit too crude. It's a PG-13 movie. The, you know, I'd love to see more kids being able to watch this, teenagers, but like the humor just, I feel it was a little over the top and wasn't necessary. Um, and yeah, that's really my biggest gripe with this. I think if they would have cleaned up the humor and some of the language, it would have really made this more of a, a better family watch. Um, so I could definitely see a lot of parents uh, holding back because of that. Um, but overall, I think it's a pretty solid watch. It's entertaining. Um, it's great seeing Woody with, with all these players and, and build that team bond. And uh, definitely some moments that will, that will tear you up. So for champions, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, once again, um, story's a little messy, didn't really flow with a lot of the humor. Some of it made me laugh, but some of it I just think was completely unnecessary. But it's still a pretty solid watch, so if you got time, go check it out before it leaves theaters. Thanks so much for visiting the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be back uh, later this week. We've got Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods coming out, so I can't wait to check that out. And then next week, we've got John Wick 4. So two anticipated movies this month. I can't wait to talk about those. Thanks once again, and we'll see you soon.